This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Panasonic bicycle lock made for the Japanese market. Now, I've seen quite a few Panasonic consumer electronics products before, but this is the first lock I've seen from the company. At first examination, the lock struck me as a bit of a contradiction, with a very high-quality silicone cover concealing a very weak aluminum lock. And to be clear, even the shackle is made out of aluminum. This would be laughably bad in most parts of the world, but I did some research and it turns out that most people in Japan don't lock their bikes at all. This is due to a very low theft rate. Those who do lock their bikes tend to use relatively weak locks as more of a token gesture than anything else. And this lock certainly falls into that category. The core is pretty interesting with a seven pin dimple design that has pins approaching the key from two different directions. So let's see what it takes to pick this open. It appears to have an aluminum lock with pretty sloppy tolerances, so we're going to try to rake this open. Since the pins come from two different directions, we'll have to rake on two different directions, getting the pins on the side first, then the pins up top. Let's go back to the side and just that fast we got it open. Let's try that one more time just to make sure that wasn't a fluke. Okay, once again, pins on the side, pins on the top, back to the side, and once again we got it open very, very quickly. So, as you saw, this lock was very easy to pick open, which is about what I would expect given the weak physical construction. Even so, I find this lock pretty interesting if for no other reason than it taught me something about the culture in Japan that I didn't know before. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.